and get the jars out of the truck. About ready to go now, Nancy. Shut the fuck up, Jonas. What's this? Some money for my job. From your job? What job? I work around. <laughs> you work around? I don't want your dirty money. Take it for the kids. The kids don't want your dirty money either. They're hungry. I'd rather starve. I'd rather have this whole house starved than live off your filthy money. What did you have to do for this money? Did you gamble for it? Did you steal for it? Tell me, what did you do for this money? Did you kill for I it? I didn't kill for it. Get out of my sight. I've got another client to see in about 10 minutes who's going to blow his brains out in Seattle. If you would just sign right here, I'll be on my way. Sorry, Matt. D don't call me that. Are you ready for the girls? Of course I am. I got my daddy clothes on. Got the week off from work. No gun, no uniform. We're ready to roll. They've been looking forward to this. Well, Taylor mostly. Tiffany wanted to spend the week at her best friend's folks. But I said where her sister goes, she has to go. Besides, she needs her father, so give her some attention. I always give her attention when they come to the house. You know that. It's just that she's at that age now. She'd rather be with friends than family. So where are you going with the video? What? No, 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 Ken. No, no, no. There were 20 tablets, Ken. 20? There were 30 in there? There were 20, Ken. I came straight from the chemist this morning. <laughs> uh, Frank was there. You can ask him. Ring him if you like. Oh, you think I'm going to believe what Frank has to say? He's just as bad as you are. Well, that is. That is. Oh, Ken, please. I need me, job. I, I... Now what, Cat? Now what? Uh, they're always fucking shaky. Probably something bigger to believe in than yourself. Like what? Get help. Put your faith in God. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, now. Daddy? Susie. Daddy, what are you doing? Well, honey, it's a long story, but what happened was I was raking the leaves. And then I confessed. Sparky's sudden death, the burial. Not the exhumation and execution attempt, but the imputation of rabies and my arduous efforts to acquit his reputation with a pilgrimage to the vets. Oh, oh, Daddy! Can we get another dog, please? Just like Sparky, please? And that was Sparky's final revenge. Sure, honey. Another dog. Just like Sparky. wants you to say ah this year. An annual checkup helps you stay on top of your wellness. And with Cigna, it's 100% covered. All done, Charlie. That is awesome, you really. Same time next year? You got it. So go for it.
Dad. Luciano and his family arrive with hopes of a better life. And as Luciano's father fails to find work, he turns to alcohol and takes his frustrations out on his family. What's so stupid with it, Patano? Your name's Tony. You're not Jewish. What are you talking about? What are you, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm Jewish. My name's Tony David David. My uh, middle name is David, so it's David David. I live in New York. I like to drink coffee. I like to talk to strangers on the street. And I'm as Jewish as Bernie Sanders. It's actually 10.3 million views, Mr. Savage. Whatever the fuck. And that's Big Mac Savage to you, boy. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but the kids fucking love it. Yeah, it's a dude shitting in public. What's not to love? Right. And you know what? I've been in the business a long time, boys, and, and you just can't get kids to go to movie theater no more. They'd rather sit home, play with the peckers, and watch this shit you boys are putting up on the internet. Oh, uh, boys, this here's uh, Ralphie. He's from uh, USC. What the hell is that? University of Southern Cock? <laughs> well, well, no, it's uh, the University of Southern California. I mastered in film there, ran many organizations, was very popular. Ralphie, and very, yes? Uh, that USC there, um, that there's a school, right? Well, yes, sir. Did they teach you how to make a fucking cup of coffee, goddammit, boy? Get in there and make me a fucking pumpkin spice latte. Yes, sir. Double espresso, motherfucker. Yes, sir. God, if it wasn't for his mama, he'd be shoveling shit in my barn. <laughs> yeah, you banging her Big Mac? Well, let's just say, um, Ralphie's mom, she's a wealthy woman. Uh, every now and then, she like a Big Mac. Now, boys. The big... Ty, I, I don't know. You gotta be shitting me. Look, the napkin's good enough, the tie's good enough, the sink's over there, and that first napkin's still on the floor. It's your first time tonight. Now tell me, what are you gonna tell the guy at the front desk? Who are you? What's your business with this guy? Well, I'll tell him, you know, that I'm... That's this. Tell me in the fucking... Hello? Oh, uh, good Vicky. Yeah, w what's up? Dog? <coughs> um, yeah, yeah, he, he's around. It was my wife's friend Vicky inquiring about the pooch, for it was her assertion that Snippet fancied a taste of her son Gabe's upper calf. Vicky insisted that I have the dog checked out by a vet yeah, to ascertain I, I if he had rabies. What, it's gonna be a little difficult right now. I mean, you know Sparky. He, he likes to hide. And, but you know what? As soon as I find him, I, I'll, I'll, I'll bring him right over. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? It came to my attention that my eldest, Zach, had not thought to replenish the fuel he used up on his trip downtown last night. The vehicle would not ferry us farther than a block. And I think he lives pretty far away. Okay. Five grand. I'll go right to the bank and come back with cash. Cash? Uh-huh. You got yourself a deal. All right. See you soon. Everything felt so... out of control. There must be something I can do. But what? What? What can I do? And then my doctor said, have you tried worrying? Worrying. Worrying? Worrying. Worrying. Seriously, worrying? Yes, worrying. Worrying is the anxiety accelerant that's easy to use and available without a prescription. I never knew worrying was an option. Now that I'm worrying, it's almost like I'm doing something. I find I can worry almost anywhere. The nice thing about worrying is that we can do it together. 
Ask your doctor if worrying is right for you. I should have started worrying a long time ago. Oh my God, I should have. Shouldn't I have? Side effects of worrying may include ulcers, hair loss, insomnia, excessive drinking, paranoia, gross fingernails, depression,